Low Galactic Family. There is a great mystery in the universe, and the mystery is that in the universe there is something instead of nothing, in the universe there is life, light and consciousness. Life and dance moves. How did all this? It is important that you first marvel at the mystery of life, light and consciousness. These elements cannot live in isolation. Where there is life there is light and consciousness too. Light makes life becomes manifest. There is a driving force that makes awareness rises to a point that can reflect itself, making itself. When consciousness reaches that point, life is able to become aware and to form itself. Life can then choose and progress, and is something like the formation of a self or self. This is the birth of the soul. But I will step back in order to describe the principles of life, light and consciousness. Where do they come from? What is the origin of life? Inside the cosmos there is a vacuum, a void that breathes, a fullness in silence. This is the origin of life and you can connect with her breathing quietly. By breathing in silence and tranquility, taking his attention to the inhalation and exhalation, you connect with the primal source of being. The silent principle, the basis of all life, is still present in you. He lives and breathes inside, regardless of what you are doing or not. The origin of the principle, the emptiness is there, which all came, still exists in you. Understanding this frees, and releases the limits of being that you are, revealing the relative nature, dual of their individuality. In this initial emptiness, this space, there is still no individuality, there is not a single soul. There is a pure state of being or existence. Feel the mystery of this state of being. It involves everything. Without this basis of being, you do not exist. It permeates and nourishes. What is it? In that silence, lives the breath of God. God is unlimited, undefined, and unlimited. He has no form. Is that which is not individualized. God is aware of everything, but in this field of unlimited perception that God is, there are pockets, or cavities, in which predominates the lack of awareness. This lack of awareness makes possible the growth and development of life. Without this basis of being, you do not exist. It permeates and nourishes. What is it? In that silence, lives the breath of God. God is unlimited, undefined, and unlimited. He has no form. Is that which is not individualized. God is aware of everything. But in this field of unlimited perception that God is, there are pockets, or cavities, in which predominates the lack of awareness. This lack of awareness makes possible the growth and development of life. Without this basis of being, you do not exist. It permeates and nourishes. What is it? In that silence, lives the breath of God. God is unlimited, undefined and unlimited. He has no form. Is that which is not individualized. God is aware of everything, but in this field of unlimited perception that God is, there are pockets, or cavities, in which predominates the lack of awareness. This lack of awareness makes possible the growth and development of life. God, the created places where life is unconscious, from which a desire to consciousness can develop and grow toward the light. You are located in one of these voids in the field of consciousness that is God. God had to create a smaller consciousness so that individuality could arise. In order to create the individual life, God had to make a paradoxical thing, because, in essence, God is everything. Everything that exists is in God both what is possible and what is not. So God had to create smaller local awareness, to enable the birth of the soul. 
the soul is a definite and limited consciousness, which finds its way through time and space, always seeking that union with God, from which it was generated. The birth of the soul was a leap in the dark oblivion. To create awareness at the individual level, something new, something great is generated in God a living awareness growing, which is dynamic and evolving, and life is change, is in a constant state of becoming. When consciousness includes everything, including all the possibilities, the dynamic growth of unconsciousness to consciousness is impossible. It is only through this dynamic process that light can be created in the growth spiral of the soul, his birth, his youth and maturity. And it is this growth in the field of time and space that adds to the awareness of God. The soul lives in a loving relationship with God. God is the source of the soul, its base or matrix, and the goal for which the soul strives. And God creates the soul so that he can find satisfaction in the yearning of the soul to come to be, and depth of the feelings that this result. The mystery is that in this way, God himself becomes visible, tangible and experiential, through individual consciousness that the soul carries inside. This is the purpose of the birth of the soul. The soul is made to lose their way in the empty consciousness, at least in part. This is necessary in the journey of the soul because it is important that it reaches its goal and, in total freedom, return to the divine consciousness, omniscience, to the knowledge. That is why evil, what is considered bad should be part of your journey. When the soul tries to reach the principle, the essence of what it is, God in itself, is exactly that void, the unlimited and all-embracing nature of the divine, they experience their release. It is then that it returns to the home. Light and darkness are elements that belong to the journey of the soul. The play of light and shadow is created because God withdraws his conscience, or hide in certain parts of the cosmos, and there offers freedom of action to the soul. The creation of the soul is actually a contraction, decreased consciousness. But this process has a purpose, because it is precisely in this contraction that there is a movement, a process of important and valuable achievement, and it is this process that creates light. The light comes where individualized consciousness opens to the divine source. As the light becomes stronger, the consciousness is increasing, and the connection to the one will be more perceived, the contraction will gradually opening to full consciousness. This interaction between contraction and omniscience is the essence of creation. In this dance between the two poles, God reaches his greatest expression. Jeshua 